George Brearley may be only six, but he's already a big hit with the birds. Turkeys, that is. Well, what I like about turkeys is the rain, and it's the same with the chickens. George breeds champion birds on an allotment in Duckingfield, and earlier this month won the Juvenile Best in Show Award at a national poultry competition. Taking pride of place in his collection is a Norfolk black turkey that weighs almost as much as he does. It was named Show Champion. At first I thought I weren't going to win, but then I did. When we go home, we, we take the trophies home to put them on my shelf. And how many trophies do you have now? Um, I don't know because I've won that many. George only started showing his turkeys competitively about a year ago, and he's already got his eye on more poultry prizes. He looks after more than 20 birds and every morning gets up early, lets them out of their pens and on the way home from school feeds them and puts them away for the night. I think he gets a, a good understanding of uh, animals in general, uh, the caring for animals, uh, the feeding, uh, hatching the eggs he enjoys doing the incubator at school. George has been raising turkeys since he was just three years old. And as well as having a run of success at national poultry shows with his big birds, he's also pecked up a number of awards with his chickens. What's your favourite chicken? Frizzle. It's the curly. So that's a winning chicken, is it? Yeah. And it always wins. Never stops. This year at the national show, we got champion Frizzle out of a class of uh, 40 birds, which was quite an achievement, really. So George is getting his hands on some pretty precious stock early on in his career. Yeah, yeah, we have got some good breeding birds now, and hopefully we can go on from strength to strength. George doesn't get broody over his birds. He doesn't give them names and has no qualms about having a turkey on his table when the time is right. What did you do at Christmas? Did you eat a turkey? Yeah. Where did that come from? Here. You ate one of your own turkeys for Christmas. With that business-like attitude, little George will no doubt be getting more feathers to his cap in the future. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.